Hello, everybody, again, and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host, Mike. Gonna get some messages. How's it going, guys? Hey there. I got Kage. Hey there. And then we also have, uh, what's your name, man? We got, we got, we got, uh, Kameo there. Are you back and better than ever off to the East Coast swing or what? We got a decent show planned for you today. We got, uh, one of the first, oh, we got a damn good show planned for you today. Uh, for one of the first stocks we're going to talk about, your favorite, because it's popping everywhere. You could have got this at a discounted price looking at it. Uh, TWTR. You, if anybody doesn't know what that means, that's the Twitter Incorporated. Now, Kameo, I have to say, you called your shot a long time ago about this one. We didn't think that uh, that Musk was going to come out and rescue this thing, huh? Uh, checking out uh, this chart here. Let's go back on the chart looking at this thing. Let's go back to the past six months first. Look how abysmal that thing is in uh, March of 2022. That It just hits the dumps. After the conservative uh, dropout, this thing goes here, 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 and it's in the poop, poop can and right there. And I think that what's happening is obviously Musk bought it right there, the, the sentiment of going there. So if you got in somewhere around here, uh, you just made a lot of coin. You probably thought the same thing I was. Uh, Kameo, did you uh, did you know any friends that jumped in on that one at all on the thirty three? <laughs> Kage, do you know anybody that uh, jumped in on this that you know? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> no. Are you are you surprised? Are you surprised uh, what happened and everything? I mean, uh, I'm not surprised with the amount of news about Twitter, but I'm uh, kind of surprised at the uh, amount of growth that and optimism. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say as far as uh, we're seeing? We're seeing some of the liberals uh, bounce out on on. They're already saying they're they're done with uh, Twitter. There, um, so we're going to the Gateway Pundit story here. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, breaking it's official. Twitter is sold. Twitter shares halted, impending a sale on uh, a new sale of a uh, company sold to Elon Musk for $44 billion. Uh, Twitter has finally agreed to, to uh, take, take over uh, Twitter in a big is a bit with a big deal here. Twitter shares have halted uh, pending the news uh, sale. As Gateway Pundit reported previously, news broke and that the deal might be as early as today, but Bloomberg said the company is in its final negotiations with Elon Musk. Twitter was reportedly re-examining the $43 billion takeover supply after a billionaire lined up uh, financing uh, of the bid. And then you also have conservatives sending a petition to bring back uh, former President uh, Donald Trump to the to the platform. What do you think about that there, uh, Kamel? Do you, do you think, Kamel, that that's what brought down the stock was that a lot of the conservatives just pieced out and went to get her and gab or no? Well, are you are you are you cozying up to the blue checks or what? I'm not cozying up to anybody. That's what they want to do. They want to divide you. That's what they do. I'm not going to get into this conversation because it can lead strays, make strays, and it's one of the worst things that could ever happen. I don't want my followers to hate me or dislike me because of something that I said that can offend many people. Yeah, especially the chicks that you got on your Facebook group, man. That they they're freaking hounding you like crazy. I won't tell the wife though about those ones. Just kidding there. <laughs> He's got. He... Yeah, apparently. So, so uh, Kagi, what's your take on this? Uh, I'd have to say this is a, uh, interesting, uh, take, uh, I can, uh, say that this, it, there's always a method to the madness. So like this okay. uh, comment from a uh, three plug, he says, Twitter bullish. 
they think this is just a play on free speech. There's always a method to the madness. Cue the integration of Twitter with Neuralink and AI. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I'm seeing this thing go in the back to where it was before and possibly higher. That's just my future prediction. I could already see this already. I've told several people already that I personally know that this thing is at least going to, you're, you're getting back to the normal level with this purchase right here once that is all finalized. So uh, it says Twitter has accepted Elon Musk's offer to purchase the company's 44 billion of the company announced in a press release today, Musk purchased the company for 54.20 a share, the same price name in an initial bullish. offer. What's up? You got bullish on that? So he says free, suites mat free speech matters is the bedrock of the functioning democracy. Twitter is a digital town square where the future of humanity is debated, Musk said in a statement, including the release. I also want to make sure Twitter is better than ever by enhancing the new product and making the futures uh, algorithms great there. Uh, so this is off of uh, at least then you have Twitter CEO uh, Parag uh, Awai or whatever the heck his name is, uh, as far as he took over uh, your buddy there, uh, Rasputin there. Uh, he also applauded in the deal. The release of Twitter has a purpose and a uh, that's not my buddy, dude. Th that's, your, that's your buddy there, man. Freaking Rasputin, man. So actually, actually, he's not really Rasputin. He actually wanted to do free speech. Just the other blue checks on him were freaking going after him on that. So Dor Dorsey, a lot of people like think that that Dorsey actually wanted some free speech. He just had too much pressure from all the blue checks on there. There's so many things uh, that go on here. But uh Orge said that, that in, a, in a accompanying statement, deeply proud of our team, inspired the work that has never been important. Well, let's hope they just bring back everybody and stop with the censoring crap and stop protecting the political class. So that, that's the main thing. So the political class is uh, panicking here. Uh, what else you got on the twits there, Kage? Uh, here's a uh, take from Honest Abe. He says, Twitter, how messed up are the democrats they are now canceling twitter because they don't want freedom of speech it's like democrats are not even american anymore the first no. amendment in the usa constitution is freedom of speech mm -hmm. yeah they and then then what else you got there uh how about this take from the the tr no, no no not that one not that one uh there's a, a lot of memes uh, with the comments here for this stock. Yeah. A lot of them uh, are uh, just happy and just looking up the salty tears that uh, Democrats are salty. shedding. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they, they freaking crying so bad, man. I mean, you could always go to Gab and get her Democrats. <laughs> huh, Kage or huh, huh, Kamel? They could always go on Gab and get her and get freaking brutalized every day. So, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, all... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can everybody just be friends? Apparently it's not in their nature yep. to be to take criticism and uh, shake it off and then yeah, be friends just, with the opposite team. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, be friends and they, yeah, they, they, they act like, yeah, they act like with, they act like with must taking over. It's like the earth is falling. The earth is falling. Uh, speaking of which uh, it looks like on the gateway planet, we have one down former good place actress, turned annoying activist Jamil Jamil quits Twitter over Elon Musk purchase. Uh, she turned down, she said she has quit Twitter over Elon Musk purchasing the platform. Oh, oh woo. Uh, Jamil cited that her anti-free speech sentiments are the reason for her departure. This comes from Hoft and the Gateway Pundit. She said, ah, ye, he got Twitter. I like this, but what lies must be what lies in my last tweet just as really any excuse to show pictures of Barold. I feel free. I feel free speech bit is going to help go to help this hell platform reach its final form of total lawlessness, hate, bigotry, misogynism. Best of luck, Jamil tweeted in four photos of herself. And then she closed her closed her Twitter feed off. Isn't that sad? She didn't like it. 
No more safe spaces for those people, huh? <laughs> yeah, the, the whole thing's stupid. It's just like, dude, you freaking, it's just a dumb platform, man. You got to just shut everything down just because you don't agree with what's going on. I, I never left Twitter. I stayed on it even when they freaking were still censoring people. I actually thought it was, uh, it was at least provided some entertainment. So guys, we're not going to go to like uh, Time Magazine or uh, what CNN thinks or anything like that. We pretty much covered the spin. Uh, we went from the pundit because we like the pundit because it's funny. Uh, so if you don't like that, then feel free to watch the show like never again. Uh, does this, does this. I got, I got a question. What's up? What, what, is the guy, what are your guys' background look like right now? Where are you guys at? Where, where, yeah, where are you at, Kage? Uh, I'm just uh, on stock twits uh, ready with a new comment if you want. Yeah, give me a new comment. That's good. Uh, how about this one from uh, Robert twenty from Robert two thousand two? He says, "Twitter, who thinks go, who thinks goes sixty dollars tomorrow? Fake pump is on the way. Elon Musk magic." Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there'll be there'll be some magic with that. What what question did you have there, Kage? Uh, or sorry, Kamal. Well, my question is: Is what does Kage have a mask on? Yeah, he's got his ninja mask. But where where are you at? The next, the next question is: Is obviously we should leave us all in so we can have a take it off, take it off. We should have a guest to see who who's Kage's identity. We'll put up. What if we put up screens, Kage? Like different faces, is that good or no? But what's my identity? Yeah, isn't what's that your... the point of it? Why would I <laughs> then go carrying around a sign as saying who I am or True. doing those kind of things? Can you imagine me holding up a sign? Be back in five minutes to kill you. <laughs> Something. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like he's in. Uh, we're we're at somewhere in the Congo today, huh? Uh, just a nice little secluded spot that I just wanted to rest by, so. Where are you? You're breaking up there. Uh, you in uh, South uh, Carolina there? I lost him. <laughs> well, we're, he'll, we'll get him back here in a second. Uh, what's your what's your take on this? You think this is going to be a positive trip for this? Stock? I think this stock's going up. That's just me. I, I think it's going to be like a rocket ship going up to the moon with this yeah. stock. Yeah, so it, it definitely take, it, take your recover. place and, uh, you know, hedge your bets, find your buy point and just enjoy the ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I If you got in when you was in the 33s, you lucked out. Uh, so uh, we're, we're done with this one and we're going to the next. See you in two and two. Peace. Hmm. Okay, guys, going on to the next stock is NXT, NKTX, NKTX. Last tick was $18, negative 72 cents after hour. Obviously, you can see uh, June 2021, you have the recovery right here. Uh, the economy is coming along from COVID, and all of a sudden, inflation bomb hits, and it's just a complete old meltdown. But as we're riding down here, we're, we're driving along with the hiccups, and we're coming up wondering why we're coming up we're going to check out that so going into uh what would you say they do here uh they're a biological uh, biopharmaceutical company which is engaged in the discovery and development of commercialization of natural killer cell therapies and treatments of cancers the firm's products include uh nkx 101 is in phase one clinical trials and treatment of relapse refractory acute uh, myelotoid leukemia or uh, high-risk manoplastic syndrome. NKX019 is a preclinical product which is uh, based on the ability to treat uh, various B-cell malignancies by targeting C19 antigen found on these types of cancerous cells. The company was founded by Dario Campana in 2005 and is headquartered in uh, South San Francisco, California. So going on to stock twits, Kage, because that's where the real traders are at. What do you got on the twits there? Uh, various comments. I think I see a lot of, uh, a lot of bulls for this one. There are okay. some bears here and there, but they haven't necessarily given any, uh, charts or anything. Okay. But here's it. Here's one from, uh, what is it? Uh, T W O W S official. He says okay. NKTX. Remember they're 
is no such thing as hitting the scanner. All these gurus are only trading top gainers slash top losers of the day. Hot, hot, mm -hmm. hot. Yeah. One just needs to know the, the entries and exits on these to be consistently <laughs> profitable. All trades verified in my small account challenge discord. So he's got his little uh, chart here of the symbol that he is uh, doing with this mm -hmm. and what he traded and closed on. So, Okay. Uh, going on to the website, it looks decent, and it better look decent because uh, you are in uh, you're in way above like where it's at as far as uh, you're in top dog land where they're at. Uh, now uh, there was a little there was some dip, and if you got in on that dip and you're in now, you're in pretty good shape compared to where you were before. Now uh, we're going to go through the pipeline and, and at first there, so but I mean we're going to go into a little bit into the website and then we'll go to the pipeline. Uh, so there it says they're dedicating and realizing the potential of natural NK cells for the treatment of cancer. Their proprietary technology is designed to harness the power of important pathogen fighting immune system cells and uniquely capable of enhancing the ability to search and destroy tumor cells. So you can learn more about that. Uh, they've also uh, founded the proprietary, robust, well-characterized NK cell expansion technology pioneered by uh, Dario Nakarta and aims to build the next generation cell therapies. Their technology, their focus is the power and the ability of tolerability for cell therapy and develop the next generation of cell therapies and the leverage of inherent pathogen fighting power NK cells. So these engineer power NK cells, proprietary expansion technology and potential to reach uh, more patients there. Uh, Kage, what else do you got on the twits there? Uh, how about this uh, take from Hassan77, Bull he says NKTX bullish. So many bears panicking in here. Hope you all learned a lesson today that MMs do what they want, regardless mm -hmm. of where you think a stock is headed. We open at $20 plus tomorrow. Not that, it, you know, that's not that far of a reach considering uh, you're also writing the news. And like I said, some of these are, are, are grabs. Now we are seeing this show up as, as a popular one right now. So that's, that's something to be concerned about just because Everybody and their dogs jumping on it, and there's going to be some shorting and manipulation. They're going to try to ride some of some of the news that's out there and things like that. You've got the NX NX uh, the NKX 101 NKG uh, 2D. That one's uh, a clinical and almost partner right there. So you got, and you also have the NX uh, NKX 019 CD 119B cell malignancies. That's in clinical. When that goes to partner right here. That's just stick with it. You also have the tumors and non-disclosed for that. Every time these little, every time it, it hits these phases right here uh, and goes further, that's gonna send that's gonna send that up. Now that's an opportunity to short right there, but it's also an opportunity uh, to make some money long term. It is gonna be a hedge against some of the bad things that are happening uh, with uh, the economy and things like that. As far as going forward, when you're looking for a stock to invest. Uh, instead of some of these uh, trash heap ones that sometimes we talk about. So we decided to talk about this one. Uh, it's being talked a lot. And uh, so you got a little bit of what they have there. Uh, going into uh, publicate, they have their publications, posters. Not going to go into that. What I am going to go into, some of you might say, well, hey, uh, why, why are you, uh, why, are, why, are, why didn't you go too much to this and you're not spending enough time for DD? Because this is a stock promotion show, we don't have 20 minutes there, do we, Coggy, or 30 minutes to talk about one stock and cover every single thing they do? We're just kind of no, trying to cover... We, we, uh, we need to just uh, focus on uh, what the general sentiment is and mm -hmm. yeah. where, where we think it's actually going. Yeah, no one wants to hear 40 minutes about the stock or whatever, and they're not going to. They get a brief uh, little bit of information there, and then that's what you got there. Uh, so going on to uh, Market Watch, they have... Uh, and Carta uh, stock jumps 42% after announcing positive phase one data for experimental KR NK therapies. Uh, this says shares of Nakarta short, stored 42.7 in pre-market trading on Monday. The company uh, reported positive phase one clinical data for two experimental uh, chimeric uh, antigen receptor CAR uh, natural killer therapies. Three to five patients with pre-treated acute uh, myeloid leukemia report to complete response of ongoing treatment for one of the in, in, investigative therapies 
Uh, the company focused on different experimental KAR and NK therapy in six patients with cell malignancies, three of whom uh, had showed a complete response. No adverse events were reported, Nakarta said. Uh, what else do you have there on the Twitter? sir? Uh, how about this take from Banana Ape Cash? He says, NKTX, bullish. Almost shorted this. Glad I didn't. Tomorrow, though, PM gains a lot. I will move in. Okay, and what else do you got there? Uh, how about this one from uh, Legends Trading? He says, NKTX, bullish. Broke down the levels for this after running over 100% on the day. They have to get through their $20 level, then 21 to 20, uh, 21, 25, greater than 24 to 27. Watch these levels when looking for this to continue upwards. Follow and let's make money. Yeah, and he's got his little chart in the uh comments i think i think personally that you could ride this uh it, with all the things they have going on i i could see this being uh another one of those uh you know what's it called uh i'm trying to think here not moderna uh not moderna pfizer but uh oh so just somewhere in that realm i'm trying i, I just got a brain fart right now sorry guys i didn't mean to but uh it, this is going to be one of your top biopharmaceutical stocks. You could bookmark this, and it won't. This this take will not age uh, in a bad way. It'll age in a good way, and you'll thank me because I'm saying that this is going to be a halfway decent play, uh, in my opinion. You could take that for what it's worth. So, uh, but the thing is, is you don't want to jump in just today unless uh, that's a little risque. You want to jump in uh, when you think it's uh, good for you, wouldn't you say, Kage? Yeah, you always need to know exactly where you want to be with your stocks. And uh, you just want to follow your own strategy and uh, stick with it. Yeah, when you saw when you saw Twitter, uh, when, it, when it was uh, in the dive bomb, when it was at the 33 a share, you just knew something was going to happen. And anybody that bought during those in that 30 range after all the censorship and everything, now, now you're gonna now you're gonna make coins from that because he had to buy that stuff at 54. He knows that sucker's going up. He knows there. Look, m remember all the rumors back before about Dogecoin and everything like that. Like he's gonna buy into this. He's gonna buy into that. Anything this guy touches, it 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 does it does it's great. And so yeah, Midas a, touch anything mm -hmm. he touches turns to gold. Yeah, exactly. And so he knows he knows he's getting that 54 anyway. Even though we're talking about the other stock there, I just went off on that that deal there. So uh, yeah, I, let's see if we got uh, anybody. I don't. I think we we lost our other two guys there. So uh, it's a great stopping point. Uh, good thing for today. You got anything to add at all, or no? Uh, no, just uh, watch your money and uh, always uh, go with what you know. Stick yeah. to what you know. Yeah. And are you saying are you saying on this one? This one's a watch out for you, or no? Uh, with the amount of comments that I'm seeing and the general sentiment for this one, I'd say this is a decent look. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's definitely up from where it was in uh, December and uh, parts of November. But yeah, yeah, it, it th this one could be like the Norovax of was it 2018? I always talk about where it was like at five bucks, 2018, 2017, somewhere around there. Uh, you, you had that five dollar range, and now look where Norovax is at now compared to there. This could this could be another play like that. Now we don't want to we're not going to be like everybody like everybody says that this guy's. You don't want to be with this with stocks. You don't want to be the same like you do a basketball analogy where you're like, uh, is this the next Michael Jordan or things like that? Everybody always says, oh that guy's going to be the next Michael Jordan. That guy's going to be the next uh, Kobe Bryant, and then they yeah. yeah, yeah I mean it's a. Uh... It's just imitation after imitation, but mm -hmm. you need to let people who they're going to be. Mm -hmm. You have to yeah, just exactly. let them be who they're going to be. Yeah, and and with what they have for for going forward with uh, the clinical trials and everything, I think this is a decent watch. It's just where's your buy point? Where are you going to get in? After the hype ends, that's when you want to find out where you're going to. For me, I'm not getting in today. I'm not getting in tomorrow. Uh, because I want to see where this plays out and then see if I'm, I'm getting in or not. So uh, I have a few that I'm playing now for biopharmaceuticals. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait my time out 
And then if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, then it is what it is. That's the risk you take when you play in the market. Uh, so you got anything to add or no? No, I'm just going to say sign out and uh, say good night, people. Okay. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now. Leave your comments in the bottom so we can give you a gas card and be entered into the drawing. See ya. All right. Okay. In my final take of the night, in reaction to some of the liberals leaving Twitter, I had an interesting uh, comment from one of the followers on Gab. Uh, it comes from Digital Samurai. This quote is interesting, and this uh, goes out to you, my friend. This is probably the quote of the day here, uh, possibly the quote of the week, and we're going to see as more liberals start to pack their bags and uh, leave the Twitter sphere. At least they say they are. We know they're not going to. But I'd like to give a shout out to Digital Samurai. Uh, he says, cool, in, in reference to uh, the, the liberals leaving. Cool, the roaches are starting to scatter knowing the light of free speech will shortly be shining on them. And that is the quote of the night. Peace out to you guys. Good night.